elevator, let us know. Otherwise, head on up and enjoy. Thank you. All right, we're finna go on this journey together. Oh, we gotta go upstairs. Stairs, get your workout on. The music. Oh man, we still going up. I guess this is part of the exhibit. Oh, this is part of the exhibit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right here. Going up. Okay. 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 video about the history of the, of the theater district if you want to catch that, okay? Oh, okay. What's the history of the Probably do, I just don't know about it in Africa. So I'm pretty sure there's some great writers. You know? During this time, two of the largest current theater owners, Drew Jameson and Niederlander, came on the scene, first purchasing the St. James and Palace theaters as they began to expand their footprints. By the late 1960s, Crime was on the rise, and the declining economic conditions caused many theaters to sit empty for months and years on end. The city desperately needed to reinvigorate Times Square, and one of its solutions was the Marriott Marquis. In order to make space for the new hotel, five Broadway theaters would have to be destroyed. Protests ensued, but to no avail. I am going to cut this short and then we're going to show some of the other sections because I don't want this video to be very long. Disney signed a 99 year lease on the long neglected 